Hey, welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. We're skipping around on the BJCP style guidelines again, and we're jumping all the way up to category 27, which is all the historical beer, and they don't have a 27 A, B, C, D, all that, because none of them are related to each other. They're just in alphabetical order by the style. So a friend of mine who actually works in the beer industry um, got this beer. This is uh, a Polish, well, 27 historical beer, Piwo uh, Gradzgiski, and it's Piwo Z Gradziska from Brower Gradziska. Anyway, so 27, again, no number, just historical beer, Piwo Gradziski, overall impression, a low gravity, highly carbonated, light body ale combining an oak smoke flavor with a clean hot bitterness, highly sensionable. And if you go down into the comments, history, all that stuff, um, I'm gonna skip the comments and history. You can pause and read that if you want. It's What's interesting is the character's ingredients. So it says, grain bill usually consists entirely of oak smoked wheat malt, which I checked the brewery's website and it says that's what they do. So in fact, I think it says right here on the bottle. Um, let's see, it has a uh, drier, crisper, leaner quality of bacon, ham, smoke flavor is inappropriate. Saz type hops, moderate hardness, sulfate water, and relatively clean and attenuated continental ale yeast. Fermented at moderate ale temperatures and are traditional. German half yeast is inappropriate style. Similar in strength to a Berliner Weiss, but never sour. Has a smoke character, but less intense than in a Rausch beer. And look at the vitals on here. 1028 to 1032 OG and you know 1006 to 1012 FG. Like 2.5 to 3.3% ABV. Very, very light beer. Very light colored at only three to six SRM, 20 to 35 IBUs. I have a feeling most of the bitterness is gonna be provided by the smoke. So I don't know, I don't have enough experience with like smoke beers to like really to tell to uh, differentiate between all the different types of wood smoke. But yeah, so I mean, pretty much all I smell here is smoke. Um, and it's all malt, like or it's all wheat, I should say. There's no barley in this. It's just uh, malted wheat. And they in their own strain of yeast and all that. So, I mean, really, this is this is another one of those beers that should just give it a fifty and call it a day. So, let's check the specs on the Gradsky. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Aroma: low to moderate oak wood smoke is the most prominent aroma component. True, but can be subtle and hard to detect. Not in this beer. A low spicy herbal or floral hop aroma is typically present and should be lower than or equal to the smoke and in intensity. Yeah, um, well, it's definitely lower, but there is a little bit of a floral, spicy, you know, kind of herbal or uh, noble hop thing in there. Hints of grainy wheat are also detected in the best examples. The aroma is otherwise clean, although light palm fruit esters, especially ripe red apple or pear, are welcome. Yeah, I can see what they're saying. Yeah, maybe like a little bit of a, a pear in there. I would not call it a fruity smelling beer, but it's got that little bit of a characteristic in there. No acidity, true. Slight water-derived sulfury notes may be present. Hmm. Well, I mean, the, the sulfur might be hard to uh, pick out from the uh, smoke there, but I don't know. I mean, it seems to be on uh, on point for the style, so I'm going to go I'm gonna go pretty high. I'm going to say 10 out of 12. Appearance, well, you know, it's actually fairly clear. It looks like a cider probably on camera because it's like that really... It's like a probably a good one or two on the SRM scale here. Yep. In fact, I'd say that's yeah, that's a one. I don't know if I've ever seen a beer this light before. Not even Bud Light's that light. Um, you know, and it has a real nice uh, large foam stand. I only got a, like half the bottle in the glass there. Um, you know, so large, white, fluffy head. I mean, it's all wheat, so that's expected. Let's check specs and appearance: pale yellow to medium golden color with excellent clarity. Yeah, it's, it's funny because they say it's not filtered when they brew it, but when they bottle it, that's when they use icing glass to uh, clear it up. A tall, billowy, white, tightly knit head with excellent retention is distinctive. Murkiness is a fault. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's crystal clear. Uh, some of that might be, uh, I mean, it's not condensation, maybe, uh, you know, chill haze or whatever. But yeah, I, it's it's a three out of three in appearance. I don't see a reason why not to. Flavor? Well, this should be interesting. I don't know how they say cheers in Poland, so cheers in English. It doesn't seem like that like heavy, intense, um, you know, bacony or ham kind of thing. It's, I mean, there's definitely a lot of smoke in here. So now that I'm getting over 
the smoke. I'm getting like the real base beer in there. Yeah, it's just kind of a, you know, it's like a wheat. It's wheat, but it's not bready. I mean, it can't be. It's only 3.1 ABV. It's um, it's not a Doppelbach or anything, even though it's like all wheat. Um, so it's like weedy, really light body, and like I mean, the smoke is definitely the dominant thing. You get it up front, and you get it on the finish. And then I'm paying attention to it. I do get a little bit of a, a green pear in there. It's not acetaldehyde. Um, so, you know, a little bit of like a fruity kind of thing. Yeah, so it's interesting because it's like, it's smoke, it's wheat, um, slightly a bit of fruit in there. Hops are, you know, really low, just kind of a floral, spicy thing. I think that like they're complementing the the smoke or they're in plus they're being obscured by the smoke too um you know really interesting beer uh if i had this blind i would probably just think of it as a as a roush beer but um yeah let's uh let's check the specs on flavor moderately low to medium oak smoke flavor up front which carries in the finish absolutely true um medium yeah i mean i've had smoke here the smoke can be stronger in flavor than in the aroma uh, I say it's about the same. Smoke character gentle should not be acrid and can le lend an impression of sweetness. I would not say it's sweet and certainly not acrid. Um, actually, I, well, I mean, it's gentle, but it's not like subtle. A moderate to strong bitterness is readily ev evident, which lingers through the finish. I mean, it's hard to kind of just differentiate the actual bitterness from the smokiness. They're very similar. The overall balance is toward bitterness. I'd say it's towards smokiness. Low but perceptible. Spicy herbal or floral hop aroma. That's exactly what I said. Low grainy wheat character in the background. True. Late palm fruit esters, red apple or pear may be present. True. Clean, uh, Dry crisp finish, no sourness. Absolutely true. I'll go 16 out of 20 on flavor here. Maybe even a 17. We'll come back maybe. Mouthfeel. Well, obviously it's a <laughs> very light body. 3.1 ABV and very obviously so it's a light body high carbonation um I don't know if I'd say refreshing yeah I mean I guess it's if I was drinking this in July it'd be a different story but um yeah it's refreshing very very sessionable at 3.1 ABV um the smoke linger is a little but otherwise it's pretty clean Check specs on mouthfeel Light in body with a crisp and dry finish. True, carbonation is quite high and can add a slight carbonic bite or prickly sensation. I don't really get carbonic bite. No noticeable alcohol warnings. Well, yeah, no shit. It's 3.1% ABV. Um, mouthfeel, yeah, I'm going to go the full 5 out of 5 there. Overall impression? Um, well, I mean, for the style, I mean, I think it's like at least a 9. I don't think it's a perfect, this, this particular bottle, I don't think it's an absolute perfect example of it even though I don't really have much frame of reference, but I mean, it definitely seems on point for what they're saying. So, uh, 43 out of 50 for P O Z Grodziska. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, yeah, this is a fun, fun beer to try. I've never had this style before and you know, I would drink it again. I was surprised American uh, breweries aren't doing something like this. Um, it's just a matter of time until the smoke beer becomes the next, sour beer you know so yeah i mean if you see this one check it out and thanks my friend mike for hooking up with this bottle and another bottle that's in the fridge for another historical beer which we'll do tomorrow so thanks to you guys out there for watching and i will see you next time cheers somebody brewed it chad just reviewed it thanks for watching chad's beer Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. <laughs>